WNEM TV 5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Bloom. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. What is a job rewarding enough to keep you working, working it for 60 years? For one Bay City man, it's feeding the community. Coordinating a team at the downtown Bay City Post Office, Mark Morand says hunger is greater than he has ever seen. The Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive hosted in conjunction with thousands of similar drives across the country Saturday was put on by the National Association of Letter Carriers. An estimated 40 to 50,000 pounds of food is now on its way to local pantries. Saturday morning in Grand Blanc, the second Go Gray in May 5K to benefit Henry Ford's Health Brain Tumor Center took place. May is Brain Tumor Awareness Month and local survivor Kate White is doing what she can to support surgeons, patients and brain tumor research. In May 2019, Kate was diagnosed with an aggressive cancerous brain tumor called a glioblastoma. Her tumor returned last September, but her Henry Ford health care team saved her life. The average survival rate of patients with a glioblastoma is 12 to 14 months. It is so humbling and inspiring, and it just warms my heart that the community has rallied around this cause. Last year, organizers say close to 326 people ran the 5K, with this year being able to accommodate nearly 400. 100% of the money raised by the race will go to Game On Cancer. And put down the head headphones and stretch out your keyboard fingers. In Flint, a showdown happened to find out who has the fastest mouse in the state. U of M Flint hosted the Michigan High School eSports State Finals with close to 160 students from 36 teams participating. Players showed off their skills in three games, Overwatch, Rocket League, and Smite. A lot of the skills are not just how fast can you do things, but how quickly can you communicate? How effective can you communicate? How can you problem solve? If a team is doing something and you're not winning or it's not working for you, how do you adjust? And a lot of these things I think um, people don't realize are skills that are necessary in multiple aspects of life. Now here's Kyle with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Raven. Temperatures cooling down for us as we head into the overnight hours. We should fall down into the lower 50s and upper 40s as we go into early tomorrow morning. So it will be definitely a chillier start tomorrow morning compared to where we started out this morning, which was near 60 degrees for many areas. So cooling down as we go through the overnight, we should hold down to the cloud cover for the most part. We'll have a few breaks in the clouds at times. And looking ahead on the hour by hour for this evening, we might have a sprinkle or two for a few folks, uh, more so across the south and west, so Elma to Wasp to Flint there. Otherwise, uh, almost entirely dry going throughout the rest of the hour by hour. For tomorrow, we should be on the drier side. Uh, those temperatures warming up for us as we go into the day, only into the lower 60s, though. Uh, you'll notice here that we've got the cloud cover out there, and that kind of blocks out the heat from the sun. But we also have those north easterly breezes that are moving through mid-Michigan. That's cooler air coming down. It's also bringing in some cooler air off of Lake Huron as well. So temperatures will struggle to warm up for us tomorrow. The warmest areas will be those who are furthest from Lake Huron, but thankfully we do work in some sunshine as we go into your Monday. Clouds should clear out as we go into overnight uh, Sunday into early Monday. That'll bring in some of that sunshine as we go throughout your Monday, and we'll have temperatures back into the 70s, potentially nearing 80 degrees for a few folks. Tuesday looking not too bad as well. More sun Sunshine coming up this week. Temperatures bouncing around between the middle and upper 60s and lower 70s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.